What's up YouTube community, Bernd here, once again back with another video lesson for you. Today we will dive into the very interesting topic of picking technique once again and we will focus on the popular two-string shred phrases. These phrases can be found in a lot of very iconic rock and metal guitar solos and today I want to show you one trick or picking pattern that makes it easy to speed them up. Here's the practical example I prepared for you this week. First I play the lick with alternate picking and then I show you my economy picking approach. As you can see my right hand is moving much less in the second example and I'm able to avoid the very challenging string transitions by only focusing on downstrokes with the sweeping motion. I'm also working with more legato notes in the second example so I don't have to change the lick to make it work with this reduced picking approach. Before we get into the picking technique I like to explain this short and simple composition to you. This one is in the key of D minor with a very small harmonic twist in the end. We start with a very open sounding voicing for D minor changing the usual minor third to a major second and we do the same thing for C major. Up next I'm working with a power chord B flat with the perfect fifth F here on the bottom to make it a little bit more big and powerful and then we are playing an A major chord which is the most interesting part of this cadence. So the full cadence. In the key of D minor we actually have an A minor chord on the fifth scale degree but that does not leave us with a very satisfying conclusion for the sequence here. Here's that in comparison if we played an A minor chord in the ending. Now with the major chord again. Sounds much more satisfying. When I end this chord progression with an A major chord, we get this kind of classic dramatic and almost exotic kind of sound that I'm also complementing with the lead track. We will get to that in a minute. The explanation in theory is that I'm actually raising the 7th scale degree in the natural minor scale and that small change gives us a major third instead of a minor third in the chord on the 5th scale degree. If you already watched some of my videos that should ring a bell right now, this is the sound of harmonic minor. This is another very common way of using this kind of sound aside from just working with the cool and dissonant minor major 7th chord on the tonic or just using the scale over power chord sections for a more dramatic and exotic sound. So please remember from now on that a major chord on the 5th scale degree of the natural minor scale is something you should pay attention to. It's a common method to make the cadence more interesting and it would sound terrible if you play the usual minor third over that major chord on the 5th scale degree. But that doesn't mean that the entire composition is in harmonic minor. Sometimes just this chord on the 5th scale degree is replaced and that's when it's time to make use of your theory knowledge. But let's get to the technical aspect of the exercise now. For the first example I was using the very common alternate picking approach for these kind of licks that I see a lot and also often work with. When we start to analyze the picking pattern here we see that it's actually very similar to the so-called gallops. Except that we are working with more than one string here obviously. But essentially it's this picking pattern. So that picking movement feels good and smooth at this tempo and allows me to play it in time correctly because of the placement of the downstrokes. I have good control over the timing that way. The only thing that really bothers me here is the constant switching between the strings that gets a bit messy as soon as I move to the really fast tempos. Whenever I encounter a challenge like that I focus on developing a potential workaround not because I'm lazy I just like to work smart and not hard. You would be very surprised to see how small changes in your picking patterns actually remove a lot of the challenge and frustration with different licks 
and I work on that a lot in my online courses and with my Skype students when they show me their own written material. I also often come back to my own solos from a couple of years ago, make very small adjustments and get very angry at myself because there are much more economic ways of playing certain phrases and that makes my life on stage a lot easier of course. But you never stop learning and I guess that's a good thing. Concerning the economy picking approach, I already talked about that in more detail in the video I made about the four techniques you need to know to play fast. There I'm showing it to you in a speed picking context directly comparing it to alternate picking and we are working with more strings there. Economy picking is a topic that I started working on quite recently. I was very focused on developing my alternate picking technique more and more over the years. Now that I'm quite happy with it, I start dissecting different approaches too. In case you never heard about this technique before, we are combining the sweep picking approach and motion with an alternate picking mindset. For the two string trick that I'm talking about in this video, we are actually just playing two downstrokes for the D and G string and replace all other picked notes with hammer-ons or pull-offs. That essentially allows us to not change the pattern at all. We are still playing every single note and the exact same phrasing, but we are reducing the picking and getting rid of the challenging string transitions. Here's how that looks at a slower tempo. I'm starting the pattern with an upstroke to be in the perfect position for the following downstrokes. And then it's just downstrokes all the way. So the main challenge here is getting this tight and in time, especially if you're used to playing alternate picking, but it really pays off in the end and working on these two string phrases that way in the beginning is a great introduction for this technique in general before you focus on playing entire scale runs over more strings. Concerning music theory information, once again real quick, we are playing the root note, third and fifth for every chord in the lead section and also include other notes from the scale to make the patterns more interesting. By doing that, I'm not just playing the D minor or even harmonic minor scale over the sequence, I'm accenting every chord change melodically and bring out the sound of the cadence even more that way. If I would just play the lead part isolated for you, you will already hear the chords in your mind because all the harmonic information is already there. You won't hear that when I'm playing something like that, for example. <laughs> So that is always a great mindset and trick to have in mind if you really like the sound of a cadence and want to bring it out even more with your guitar solo. The next step after that would be building on this kind of system and thinking with even bigger arpeggio shapes and more interesting patterns and so on, but we will get to that in the future. For now I just want you to work on those two very different picking approaches that I showed you in this lesson back to back and see if the economy picking pattern for this kind of lick also works so well for you. If you have an entirely different picking approach for two string phrases like that, I'd love to hear about it too. Please share that in the comments. The practice backing track, tabs, the profiles and much more are available on patreon.com slash as always. Thanks a lot for tuning into this video. Make sure to subscribe to become a part of the community. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new and a comment in case you have any question I could answer for you. I will see you very soon. Thanks a lot for tuning in again and have fun practicing.